Today marks the 20th anniversary of Google's IPO. And what started out as a search engine product has become, as we know, much, much more at this point. Deirdre Bosa is here with today's tech check on that big 20th anniversary. D. Dumb, much, much more. That is certainly an understatement. What went public as a $23 billion company is now worth over $2 trillion in the public markets. Its universe has greatly expanded. Workspace, Maps, Android, Chrome, Gemini, the list goes on. You're looking at this flywheel. That is just what it has built organically. Over the last two decades, its acquisitions include YouTube for less than $2 billion in 2006, DoubleClick, which expanded Google's reach into digital advertising. There was Motorola, which was eventually sold at a loss, but helped to lay the groundwork for Google's hardware ambitions. Perhaps its most important deal, though, at least for the modern era, and will help determine the next 20 years, that would be DeepMind in 2014 that helped really solidify Google's position as a leader in generative AI. Dom, the biggest question going forward is if and how Google can maintain that lead, its dominance in the face of increasing regulatory scrutiny. As we know, it lost that lawsuit to the Department of Justice. We're waiting on a remedy, which could even be a breakup. So whether that's even possible, whether that's happened, also what happens with its second lawsuit with the DOJ that's going to be kicking off within the next month, that is all going to be important to Google's future. Deirdre, I, I might suspect that there are investors out there who are looking at this current state with regard to the FTC and DOJ against Alphabet, much like they are looking at what happened with those same entities and Microsoft back in the day. And look at where Microsoft is now, right, compared to what well, it was like during those during those yeah. years of antitrust <laughs> scrutiny. So what is then the future if that is the template, if you will? Right. I mean, Microsoft is doing great now, but the late 90s, the early 2000s, when it was under that antitrust scrutiny that didn't break up the company, but essentially amounted to a distraction, that's now known as the lost decade, where the stock essentially went nowhere. I don't that is possible that it could happen with Google in the 10 years going forward now with all of the scrutiny. But I think a lot of folks think that's unlikely. If you look at the mega caps, though, from a valuation perspective, on a P.E. basis, Alphabet is the cheapest. So that is presenting a bit of an overhang. Everything is on the table, though, Dom, especially in the age of generative AI. So far, Google has been able to really meet that challenge and be first in a lot of ways. But that's going to be tougher as the industry develops. Well,